What's up all my rockstars, welcome back to another episode here in Pokefine Pokedex Completion. So we are starting our section here in Gen 2 today, so I guess we should get, you know, right into it. So, now, compared to Gen 1, we have so many Pokemon that we actually don't have from Generation 2 in comparison. Now, we've seen a lot of them, a lot of them are registered in the decks, but we don't have them caught. And I also have some Pokemon that I've apparently caught, which I know I have, and then I've, I guess I've released from my PC, because I no longer have them in my po my PC, but they're registered in my Pokedex, aka Chikorita. I've caught three of them, but I don't have any of them in my PC system, which is kind of weird, because in all fairness, Chikorita is one of my favorite grass types outside of Sceptile, so I don't know why I would release him, but maybe I was just being stupid one day. But that's not the point. So, we're going to here in the starting area, and we're going to start with a lot of the basic Pokemon that we don't already have. A lot of the Pokemon that we're going to start out with, obviously, are going to be very simple to catch and more common, but there are also a lot of bug types because it is Generation 2, so things like Lediba, Ledian, Ariados, Spinarak, those types of Pokemon, and then at the same time, one of the biggest issues with Generation 2 and catching all these Pokemon is the fact that it's going to run into the similar problem of Gen 1, but it's not going to be the same thing with Gen 1 completely. Gen 1, it came to down to fossils and legendaries because those are extremely hard to get and you can't actually catch them in the wild. The difference becoming to Gen 2 is the fact that there are probably, I don't know, anywhere between 10 to 20 brand new Pokemon, but they're all baby Pokemon. So that means you can only get them if you breed, which you cannot do until Generation 4, which kind of puts a back burner on the little toast of the fact that we need to get those Pokemon since we're not even doing Generation 3 yet for a series. So that is where an issue comes in. But in all fairness, we also have so, so many Pokemon that we need to capture it might actually come up in time, but there's no way to line that up. So we have to focus on everything that we can do at the start of it. Baby Pokemon include Magmi, Togepi, Togepi, yeah, Technocatch, Iglybuff, uh, Elekid, Pichu. All of these Pokemon, they have to be bred to get. So it makes it extremely difficult to be able to actually do it. Now, currently we are training up a good old Totodile that we had because Totodile is a starter that we do need to actually, uh, you know, actually learn. But we don't have any of his evolutionary forms unlocked except for Totodile. And the reason for that is, is because we have an anniversary Totodile, or Feraligatr, my bad. But it does not count in the Pokedex as a Pokemon that's caught or seen in the Pokedex at all. It's the same reason that we had to get a Venusaur and a Bulbasaur line completely still. Because even though we have an anniversary Venusaur, it does not count as the Venusaur registration of the Pokedex. So, it kind of complicates things a little bit more than they probably need to be. Going on from that, there's also Hitmontop. Hitmonchan, Tyrogue, uh, did I just say Hitmonchan? Um, but Smoochum, so there are just so many of these Pokemon outside of this, the regular legendaries that you aren't actually able to technically get just from anything except for breeding, so it causes difficulties. But there are also plenty that we can get, but they're all related to stones. Generation 2 has a lot of either stone or baby evolutions. A lot of the evolutions for the ones that we do need are actually not in here. There's not a, a lot of regular level evol ev evolutions. If I remember correctly, I think Gen 2 is probably one of the smallest generations released for a difference of Pokemon, that because they had mainly stone evolutions and breeding evolutions from babies to a secondary stage Pokemon we already had. So it makes a bit of a concern here, so what are we going to do about it? Well, hopefully because of our increasingly full bag, we have everything that we do need to actually be able to get these Pokemon, but then it, once again it comes down to the same thing again. Some of these Pokemon I'm pretty sure need to be trade evolved with the item, and that makes a big, big problem because that's more trade evolutions. That's one of the reasons we're on Gen 2 now instead of Generation 1 is the simple fact that we are stuck on trade evolutions, fossils, and legendaries. Now, I could just sit here and wait and ask for people to trade and whatnot, which could work, and I, you know, I'm not really worried about scans, but at the same time, why sit here and wait when we could be more productive? That's always more fun. Here we go, there we go, that's the first one to start off with ourselves today, getting Croconaw in the decks from our boy Toto Dial. Quite an easy one just to level him up, but it is one of the most simpler ones that we do have on our list, so it makes our lives just a little bit easier overall. But there are certain Pokemon that we don't have yet that we should really have. Like here, look, this Hoo Hoo. We, we don't have Hoo Hoo. It's not in our deck. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can capture this thing with a Great Ball here. He's a level 2. Let's go ahead and see if he captures. Come on, please. No. Let's go for the level 2. It might be just slightly easier. And there's a Knocked Out up there as well. So there are a lot of basic Pokemon that we obviously don't have in Generation 2. But at the same time, a lot of these Pokemon aren't going to be as easy to capture as you might want indoor think. So to continue to be able to get past that, we have to 
keep an eye out and constantly move areas. So you can only get probably most of the bug Pokemon and then fur it on top of these two owl psychic type Pokemon from the spawn area. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do massive amounts of traveling around the generation two map. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this good old knockout to go to sleep with some sleep powder from our victory bell. There we go. That's gonna make our lives just a little bit easier to be able to catch this thing because it is a level 55 and a slightly rarer spawn than the less evolved form who, who, who comes in at level 2 to 10. So what we want to go ahead and do here is we cannot attack them. So we're just gonna go ahead and with this idea, we have timer ball, a quick ball, a fast ball, a dive ball, a luxury ball, or a regular pokeball. I think we're gonna go for a luxury ball. Not technically a better capture, it increases friendship, but Pokemon certainly do have a slight ring towards luxury balls it, it, i would say technically it does increase the capture rate by probably more than a pokeball but less than a great ball just because it's it's one of those a uh, luxury type items you know ice nice type thing so it's, it's it's just a weird type of effect but obviously it didn't even shake so luxury ball wasn't the right choice so do we want to use a great ball or a ultra ball is a real question to capture this thing i'm thinking let's go for a single ultra ball here and if it doesn't work it's not worth wasting a bunch of ultra balls on a knocked owl so it's better to go with great balls but if we can get one capture at it just like we did there boom there we go it makes our lives much much easier so we need to stick around here see if we can find a ferret and see if we can capture that because outside of area dose it's going to be the easiest thing to get out of here as soon as we capture this spinner rack because it's the spinner rack and there we go easy peasy three pokemon down for today already and we're just getting started so let's see if we can get that ferret and or area dose to spawn here because that would make life much easier as well so we don't have to go tracking them down because this spawn area has the most diverse out of all of the spawns that i believe that i've been a part of between generations one and two so it gives you a more diverse feel and what you can actually get out of it because regular pokemon spawn for normal types bug types psychic types it's just a bigger variety plus there is a lake and a pool right in the spawn area as well the stream there so it gives a more diverse feel but rarer spawns do appear in there and they're also usually spawns that you don't actually need like lapras dugong things from generation one that are actually much rarer to see but they're more common here in the generation two section of the world also generation two is such a bigger spawn compared to gen one so you have to really keep your eye out and actually keep on the move that was a quillfish that is something that we also don't have but because we were looking for that gramble it did lead us to the quillfish something that we don't have and it's not super super you know uncommon or anything but it's not real common either so it's one of those things where it's an uncommon spawn that you definitely got to keep out on the look for and go for it so it's an up and down today let's see how many of these that we can get because i see a male over there as well that we also just straight up don't have now is it pokeballs that going to be worth it we could try a dive ball while catching pokemon that live underwater so we i mean we let's go for it let's see if a dive ball will work on this guy any better and no that did absolutely nothing and none of them are even really shaking so we're gonna go ahead and send out our boy victory bell here and we're gonna have to put this guy to sleep but we cannot attack him because he's only level 21 now that he's asleep we can go ahead and go with a dive ball and hopefully that this will work come on please dive ball please please no it didn't even want to work and he woke up right away so this is an interesting situation so ooh, is a tangela over there that would be a really good capture if that is we want to go get that because we don't have a tangela and i haven't seen one in generation one yet so if we can capture a generation one pokemon one of the very two that we need that are actually capsule being tangela and pincer because they're the only ones in gen one that we haven't gotten yet that we can still go out and capture because they're rare spawns it would be well well worth it considering we need this quillfish we need that whooper we need that meryl meryl over there and the fact that we need the good old tangela so we have a lot of work cut out for us today just to get done in a little bit of time so let's go ahead and see if we can bag this guy up real quick here so let's go with a timer ball maybe this will work who knows it's made for longer battles this quillfish isn't even shaking he does not want to be caught which is one of the most annoying things in the world he woke up after just two turns so he's woken up twice in three moves which is kind of a ridiculous statement when you think about it that he's actually doing that and then we go and miss sleep powder which is not fun at all so let's go ahead and try this again get sleep powder down in there go to sleep cool fish and no it, well it missed again who would have been surprised with the 75 percent accuracy on pokey find that it always oh look it misses three times in a row so so far the 75 percent chance of hitting is now 75 percent chance of missing which is sucky and oh look that's 
four for four in a row, basically 100% percentile that it missed, which is, you know, how sleep powder works in this game. Because, oh, there we go, we finally got to sleep, because I was going to get upset if it actually, you know, missed again. So, now that he's asleep for one more turn, let's see if we can get this guy to be able to be captured. Let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it, because it's the only type of ball that we haven't tried yet, for the most part. And he instantly woke up and instantly broke out of the Pokeball. It barely shook once, if that at all. And he's now put Toxic Spikes down, which does nothing because we're not going to be switching out. But now we have to waste four more Sleep Powders because, looks, once again, Sleep Powder has now missed. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy to sleep at all before we throw this together. And hopefully none of the other Pokemon will despawn that we need, considering the fact that we have a limited time span and we've already missed one Pokemon because of a bad spawn point. So let's go ahead and go for a, a Quick Ball. would have been useless. It's probably the first thing we should have gone for. So let's go ahead and go with an Ultra Ball again. Might as well. Let's see, because it's the best capture right outside of that Dive Ball and see if it will work. It shook, it shook, it shook the first time. And there we go. Finally, a capture. So... Now that we have this, a Meryl has got 6 minutes on it. That Wooper has around 6 minutes on it as well. It looks like, yes, it, oh, it just disappeared. So that means that Wooper that we now needed is missed because Woopers don't spawn very often in the spawn biome. And I don't know their exact spawns for Generation 2. But there is a Tangula, something that we don't have at all. So we want to go ahead and capture this guy as fast as possible. So level 55, this is not going to be fun. And he's a grass type, so Sleep Powder probably won't do a single thing on him plus we already have two left so we might as well sit here and see if we can get a pokeball thrown at him and that will work come on come on come on there we go okay so that's another pokemon down that's absolutely fantastic it is a gen one but it is still another one that we needed for the pokedex so let's go ahead and continue back over here and let's see if we can capture this Meryl before anything else goes wrong today so let's go ahead and throw an ultra ball at it just because pokemon seem to be extra picky today and there's another whooper over there so i might have been wrong about the spawn rate and there we go that's Meryl as well boom now Knocking out, what, like seven, eight new Pokemon today? There we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this one to wrap it all up for today. Come on, Wooper, give us one more. Come on, give us one more, one more, one more. Please, 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 please. And no, we didn't like the Ultra Ball. We'll try another one you never really know, I guess. But come on, Wooper. I know you can be captured. And boom, there we go. That is another Pokemon down. So we've caught probably seven or eight new Pokemon technically today on the capture list that we didn't have before. One of them being a Gen 1 that I've never seen spawn actually in Gen 1 at all in the forest that it's supposed to spawn in but i've seen it a decent amount of times here in gen 2 so make sure you do keep a note of that is this is probably a better place to get gen 1 and gen 2 pokemon at the exact same time so i hope you guys all did enjoy today's episode of pokefine pokedex completion make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys all did enjoy i'll see you all next time rockstars peace peace